what is going on guys so the samsung galaxy s22 ultra is finally out now and i have the 512 gb version here it's been a long since i have posted a video review out and that is why i, I thought to make this first review uh, a bit of a simple one and it's just uh, basically a tip for you guys so first of all if you're new here welcome to my channel and do hit the like button as it helps get my videos more traction and also subscribe to keep me motivated I'm so I'm so excited to tell you guys that my full review of the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 version, and also its comparison with the iPhone 13 Pro Max is in progress and it will be out soon. So subscribe and stay tuned for that. So as I told you, this video is just a, basically a tip, as you see from the title, that why you should go for the 512 GB version of the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra if you are going to pick up one. Now I know that the more the storage it's an obvious choice like if you're getting more storage then you should buy it but but it can easily get confusing whether you should go for the 256 gb version or the 512 gb version where i have gone for the 512 gb one and let me tell you why so the number one reason is the price so usually samsung devices uh during the launch and also in the post launch period do come with some card discounts and also in the samsung online shop the samsung mobile shop app which is there you also get a 20k advantage uh, which you can avail so you get 2000 off or search more coupons you get on all the samsung devices so you can go ahead and avail this and practically you can actually bring the price down to the price of a 256 gb version so that's what i did i got the 512 gb version at the price of the 256 gb so why not go for the higher version another reason is the ram plus benefit that you get so uh, nowadays in android smartphones you get a RAM plus benefit feature in, in which you can basically convert your physical storage into RAM. Now I know that the S22 Ultra, especially in India, it comes only at the 12 GB RAM version. And 12 GB RAM is mostly overkill for most users out there. Even high-end gaming laptops come with 16 GB RAM. But not to forget that this is an Android smartphone running on One UI and also uh, on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset. So, in my practical day-to-day -day usage, I did find that having that extra bit of RAM gave me that little performance boost in my day-to-day -day activities. So with the latest update that Samsung has given, you can expand up to 8 GB RAM. So in total, you get 20 GB uh, of RAM on the S22 Ultra. So it does give that tiny bit of uh, performance boost in day-to-day -day activities and you can keep now more heavy apps open in the background, even games and other uh, social media apps also you can keep open in the background and it will not affect your day-to-day -day UI scrolling or day-to-day -day performance because you just simply have more RAM now. And having a higher storage version gives you that extra physical storage to convert into RAM. Now the next reason is that if you're a heavy user, then uh, trust me, you will easily use up all that storage. On my device, I have installed heavy games like Genshin Impact, Call of Duty Mobile, which easily take up to 25 to 30 GB themselves. And I also do video recording uh, for my YouTube channel and also edit my videos on my smartphone itself. Sometimes also on my iPad, Air, but mostly on my smartphone. So this actually uh, requires me to have a lot of storage present on my device itself. Even though I have cloud storage, I having more storage on my device really helps a lot. So in just one week, I have filled up 100 GB of uh, the storage. So if you're a heavy user like me, then definitely this higher storage version would help you more. And also the basic point is that at the end, it always leaves you uh, a bit of a more available storage space in your device. So that actually helps in your day to day performance, even if you're taking photos, videos and uh, the lag that you would experience due to low storage that is taken care of. But if you're not a heavy user like me, then you actually don't need to take any cl cloud storage uh, pa pa packages like the Google storage or OneDrive. You can easily just use up your smartphone's physical memory because actually you don't get any SD card slots these days. So that, up that expandable storage option is no more there. So it's better in the long run to have actual physical storage available in your device. Now, the other reason is uh, something which I was trying to back up with more evidence, but I could not get a consistent uh, re result for that. So that is nothing but faster read write speeds. So let me show you some read write speed speeds on the screen here. And also compared with the 256 GB one, 
there is a tiny bit of a difference sometimes in the read write speeds but not always but this is something that helps uh, and could be a possibility uh, because of the higher storage because you simply have more storage available so any app you are using like a video editing app if it's rendering it has more storage so it does not need to uh, do that much of indexing and so it can write faster so it does affect a little bit in the read write speeds as well so that's it guys this was a really small video and if you use your phone uh, for more than 2 to 3 years and especially the samsung new s22 devices will have 5 years of security updates so uh, it's always good to have a better storage version especially in the android world so if there are any more reasons that you think do let me know in the comment section below and do subscribe and stay tuned because the full review is coming out soon and i'll be trying to do a little bit of a different review to list out all the pros and cons that are not mentioned in other reviews so that you get more idea of this device because this is a costly device so if you're investing in it you should know all the factors which i always try to uh, clarify in my reviews that's so that's it guys i'll catch you in the next one peace